tell you, um, I've stopped along the cycle path because um, I can see some examples of weathering of the rocks as I'm walking past. So weathering is the breakdown of rocks by the atmosphere. So it's a little bit different from erosion. So what I mean by breaking down the rocks due to the atmosphere is the sun, the rain, the wind, heating and cooling, freezing and thawing the rocks, and also plants and animals as well, breaking the rocks up and breaking them into smaller pieces. And that is called weathering. Whereas erosion is the rocks being broken down by water, the action of water. So behind me, you can see that the limestone, which is particularly vulnerable to weathering, has been broken up uh, by various factors. Limestone has joints and bedding planes. The joints run downwards, so you can see the joints going down, and the bedding planes run horizontally, sideways like that. Now that allows water to be able to run through the rock and weakens the rock quite significantly. So you can see water is coming through the cracks in these rocks and water is coming through the hill and out of the cracks in the rock. These rocks here have been weathered biologically. That means biological is by living things. So you can see the plants, roots of the plants have broken up the rocks by getting into the, the cracks in the rocks and growing in the cracks of the rocks. But something else biological could be animals as well burrowing into these rocks here and breaking them up, ultimately weakening them so that they fall and crumble. So these rocks you see here over hundreds of years will move away and will disappear due to these weathering processes. Another type of weathering is freeze thaw or frost shattering. So this happens when water gets in cracks in the rocks like you can see here. So rocks that have joints and bedding planes like limestone would be particularly vulnerable to freeze thaw weathering. So what happens is water gets in the crack and freezes when the temperatures drop overnight or within the winter months. And when it warms up in the morning or in the springtime, it melts and it uh, loosens the rock because when the water freezes, it expands and when it melts, it contracts again, loosening the rock and ultimately breaking it up over time. This is called freeze thaw or frost shattering weathering. Another type of weathering or physical weathering is called exfoliation or years ago we would call it onion skin weathering. Um, I've tried to find an example, you can't see it very well here. A better place to find this would be down on the cliff, somewhere like Southern Down in Bridgend, somewhere where it gets very, very hot during the day and the sun um, shines onto exposed rock faces. So it would look a little bit like this here. When something is heated up, it expands and when it cools down, it contracts. So throughout the day, the sun shining on the rock face heats it up so the rock face expands and breaks away and in the evening it cools down and contracts so what you would find is the surface of the rock would peel off kind of like when you exfoliate the first layer off your skin so if you use an exfoliation on your face and you're exfoliating the dead skin cells off the surface that's why they call this exfoliation they used to call it onion skin they don't anymore so it's like when you peel an onion and the skin comes off as well so that's due to the heating and cooling repeatedly weakening the rock surface the, the face of the rock and you'd be more likely to see this somewhere where the sun um, is shining on exposed cliff faces